Welcome to the Horn, St. Patrick. According to Wikipedia, St. Patrick lived in the 4th or 5th century. There is evidence of earlier Christian missionaries in Ireland, but he is credited with converting the island nation even though he did not travel all over it. He is often pictured with a harp and a snake because as legend has it, he drove the snakes out of Ireland and the harp was used to sing hymns. He died the 17th of March, the date of St. Patrick's feast day. The pagans used the snake symbol as the symbol of knowledge. The conversion of Ireland led to the snake symbols being driven out of Ireland. Time.com mentions that the symbol of the three-leaf clover was used by St. Patrick to explain the Holy Trinity. It became even more popular in Ireland in the early 1700s. And then around the world in 1920 because of Hallmark. I had the pleasant experience of looking in on St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York. Britannica.com says St. Patrick did not die as a martyr. He died naturally at the ripe old age of 74. During his life, St. Patrick wrote at least two books that survived, Confessio and Letter to Caroticus. He is also partly credited for the conversion of the Picts and the Saxons. In raising 33 people from the dead. And more miracles. So this St. Patty's Day, share the gospel, pray for someone's healing, even if they're already dead, and don a three-leaf clover, and raise a pint of Guinness in honor of St. Patrick, who once told a bartender the greatest sin is Paca Amtosh. Not filling his mug to the right measure.